Hello everyone, I'm Amanda. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not new to my channel, welcome back. I'm really happy to have you here. Every year I make a card for my son and I write inside everything I like about him and then I put it in a box because he cannot read anyway and I want to give them all to him when he's older. He turned five this week and I made him a rainbow shaped card. And by the way, I think it might be the cutest birthday card ever. Okay, I might be a little biased there. To make this card, I'm using a set of dice that actually makes a rainbow shaped card and it's really cool. I'm also going to be using colder cardstock, which is something I don't normally do. I don't know why, but it's actually a time saver because you don't have to be inking all the paper and it looks really good. So let's see how to make this card. Here you can see the main supplies I'm going to be using today. Some colored cardstock, folk and white cardstock, the dye I told you about before, this sentiment stamp set with really tiny font. And I will be using one of these three stamp sets, but I don't know yet which one of them it's going to be. First, I'm going to start by cutting apart all the pieces of this die set, and then I will be die cutting everything I need for my card. Here you can see I'm die cutting a second card base. This is because at this point I wasn't sure if four gray base will be better than white. That's because I was thinking the clouds are white and they might get a little, a little bit lost in the base. So I'm just gonna try all the elements on both cards and then see which one I like better. This thing I'm using is a piece of post-it roll. It is sticky on one side, so I'm going to use it to arrange the rainbow and be able to move it around in one piece.
and the gray car stock is going to win because as you can see the clouds pop up much more on this one than they do on the white one so i'm gonna go with it and i'm going to use the tiny happy birthday but i'm going to have to cut it in two because it doesn't fit on that circle however if you don't like cutting your stamps you can simply use a bit of masking I told you in the beginning that I wasn't sure about which stamp set I wanted to use. At this point, I knew that I wanted to use one out of two images. So I'm going to stamp both of them on my cardstock, then I will color them, and then I can decide which one I like better. And I liked so much how this little guy turned out that I decided I did not need to try with the chicken. So I will save that one for another time.
that's it the card is ready and seriously if this is not one of the cutest cards ever i just don't know what is i'm so in love with this card so i hope you liked it too and remember that all the supplies are listed below the video and i will also leave a link to the visual supply list in the comments section so see you soon Thank you so much for watching, here are a couple more videos you might be interested in watching and also you can become a subscriber if you want. If you do so and even if you're already a subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything I post. Have a wonderful day and see you again soon, bye!